Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a roundup of my favorite purchases from 2022. I will continue to be well used and well worn in 2023. If you're new here, my name is Lil Lenore and I have these kinds of luxury fashion related videos as well as vlogs. So if you like the vibe, you like the energy, please hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so that you know I post new videos and Let's get started. As you can tell from the title, this portion of the video is so kindly sponsored by Farfetch. Through my partnership with them, I've been able to like add in some really amazing pieces into my wardrobe. And one of my favorites of 2022, for sure, no secret and no surprise at all, has got to be Kate. We will have a Farfetch code that I will share at the end of this little Kate segment. I have added so many amazing pieces from Kate that I just love to rewear over and over and over again. What I'm wearing now is actually one of the most recent editions from Kate through Farfetch. And I just love the silhouettes of their sweaters, their knits, their jackets, and I just love the quality of them. So I grabbed this one in a small. I will say Kate naturally has an oversized silhouette, so I recommend you being able to size down for certain pieces. Other things, I do get my usual size in. This sweater has been one of my favorites, as well as the Scarlet Cardigan, which I have in like three colors just because I love it so much and it's so easy to style. I love traveling with at least one of those. It's also so warm and I do feel like Farfetch has an amazing selection of Kate pieces. I've also really loved maxi skirts for the end of 2022. I feel like in the fall is when it really started to come back and the Kate near skirt in particular has got to be my favorite because of how long it is. And I just love the silhouette and the shape that it provides. I love this trend and I am excited to continue wearing it and styling it for the new year. The Kate tote. And if you guys know me, I've actually been really loving Kate bags just because they're a little less obvious and I just think they're really well made. This one I brought on the Farfetch trip to Miami and I loved having this as my like, carry-on bag. This was great for throwing everything in and it's super roomy. Also comes in a couple of different colors and shapes. So we'll continue to wear this and style this into the new year. I always think it's good to have like a really good big bag. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Also love that there's feet on it, so. Yeah. And then there's this one. This Kate jacket, I love so much. I've had my eye on it for months and the shape of it and the silhouette of it is so great. This one is also on Farfetch and I got mine in a size six. I just love the way that the sleeves, you know, kind of fall and the curvature of them. Very, very excited about this particular piece. I will have links to all of my Kate favorites down below and also everything mentioned in this video. If you are looking to shop Farfetch, you can use my code Alyssa for 10% off. This applies to first time customers only. All of the terms and conditions are going to be down below as well as when it expires. So utilize this code, add some things to your wardrobe that will make you happy. But also for me too, a big thing has been decluttering and downsizing my wardrobe and closet as well. Same with Marco. I think also just in general at the house, we've been trying to really focus on things that we really, really love. So I think this video is a good way to see what pieces have been really great investments from the previous year that obviously I am still loving and enjoying. Thank you so much to Farfetch for sponsoring this portion of the video and now to the rest of my favorites. This is a no brainer and these are my YSL sunglasses that I got when I went to Paris with Christine and Alicia. Again, shout out to Christine for putting Alicia and I on these sunglasses because she was the one that was on the hunt for them. So I actually got these in the brown color as well. Farfetch has these listed for less than like what YSL prices them at. I always travel with at least this one or the brown pair just because I feel like it completes the look. Now we're on to the handbag section. This is my Vert Fonts Kelly 28, 1991. So it is a birth year bag, which I love having. And the fact that it's in this beautiful green color, I've realized for me, for Kelly's, I love box. And that's what I gravitate towards. I just think there's something so timeless about it and so elegant. If I'm going to go return, I definitely love Togo for something a little bit more casual, but I would only do that for like a size 25. But anyways, this one I love so much. I do need to bring this into the Hermes Spa because this turn lock is loose and I'm also hoping that they can swap out the hardware to have the two rings because at this point I don't really like to wear the strap too much with it because I don't want it hitting 
the handles. So this is in beautiful and pristine condition. It's just that one little turn lock, which Irma said isn't going to be an issue to fix. I did actually also end up dropping off the Shoulder Kelly, which is the next bag that I wanted to talk about as an amazing purchase because I found that one for $8,900. Granted, she needed TLC. It was for sure a fixer-upper kind of bag. That bag in pristine condition, I've seen upwards of $16,000 sometimes even as high as like 20 plus, which is insane. But I love that this bag is not a very common Kelly. And in terms of this or a mini Kelly, I think I could just get so much more use out of this and it also fits so much more. I did end up dropping it off at Hermes yesterday and I will do a story time on that process with the Hermes spa if they fully accept the bag once it gets to Paris. I did mention this in one of my vlogs, but I don't know if that vlog is going up before this video or not. Essentially, the bag might have been worked on before, and if it was worked on outside of an Hermes Atelier, they're not going to accept the bag. So my other option would be to send it off to Leather Surgeons. Fingers crossed, I will have all the details and updates on the Hermes Spa if they do accept it. So that bag has been sent off, and I might not see it for a few weeks, maybe even months, because they told me if Paris is going to work on it, it could take four to six months. But yeah, I loved finding that bag and I just really hope that it can be worked on because I just know how beautiful that bag can be if I can just get it to a place where it doesn't feel so weak, which is kind of how it feels now, especially with the strap having cracks all over it. it doesn't show in photos, but once you get a closer look, that bag needed help. Hopefully in a few weeks I will have an update on that, but yeah, that bag was such a solid find for the end of the year and I'm just so glad that I was able to find it. Now we are on to the Celine Triomphe, which we all know I've been loving so much and especially in Lizard for the price that I got it at when I was in Europe. I probably would never have bought this bag here for sure, because the price of it is close to like $8,000. I think I got this bag for around half the price of what it is in the US. Essentially the price of the non-exotic version here. The details on it and how special it is once you get a closer look, it really is so stunning and this bag goes with a lot. It can be worn every day, but obviously the material makes it just a little bit more special. Last one for handbags. No surprise here, but it would be my Birkin 30 in gold on gold. And this bag was the kind of like a parting gift also from my last sales associate because I no longer have one again, but it's fine. Oh, I still have stickers on the bottom of this. I just love this color and the gold hardware really is stunning and I just, I'm so happy that I was able to get it this year. I was with my previous sales associate for a few months and was able to get this offer right before the wedding. And I mean, obviously it's a great investment. Birkin bags hold up really, really well. Oh shoot, I still have the sticker on this lock too. I do love having this one as an option in addition to my black one, but I will say the black one is probably my favorite. And if I had to pick and save just one of the Birkins, it would be that one because it has already slouched and worn in really well from all the times that I have used it. And the thing with these bags is that I don't want to be afraid to use them. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this wears over time as well. If anyone is interested in a what's in my bag video and a story time on that Birkin, I will have it linked down below. I filmed that one a few weeks ago. I also have a code with 7RP, which are amazing inserts for Birkins, Kelly's, they make them the best. Next one is surprising. It's actually the Hermes Vegas boots. And these ones I've been wearing a lot lately. I think they're probably my go-to boots just because I love the silhouette and the shape of them. And these ones, I walked into the store and my sales associate had this one in my size, last pair available. And I just knew that I wanted to have them because I a lot of my boots are pretty plain and simple. And the Western style, I feel like can be a hit or miss. I love that this one didn't have any kind of contrast stitching and it was just very simple and I love the silhouette and they're actually very comfortable. They also come in a brown, so if anyone is interested, these are the Vegas boots and I will have my sizing reference down below just in case anyone is interested as well. Now we are moving on to beauty. There was one brand I wanted to give a shout out to that was new to me last year. 
it would be Westman Atelier because ever since Farfetch introduced me to them, it has been my favorite. And if I had to recommend just one product from their line, it would for sure be these skin drops. They're so good. They're what I'm wearing right now. And I just feel like it just feels like skin and it doesn't feel so heavy. I wear the shade three. So this would be my number one recommendation from Westman Atelier. This is also available on Farfetch. So just something to keep in mind as well. Another favorite for 2022 would be my Dyson Airwrap. And I have just loved not using my flat iron or my curling iron anymore and just like this kind of sleek blown out look. Granted this one is from Drybar because I had to shoot something and they get my hair to a bounce and curl that I am still working on with my Dyson. But in terms of like my hair's health, I've just felt so much better about it. And I did a scalp treatment or like a head spa early last year and it was like the best thing ever. So it's something that I wanna do once or twice a year. I do have an appointment coming up and I'll include that in another vlog. Like I'm just very happy with my, where my hair is at. I'm happy to no longer be dyeing it or coloring it. I do have some grays that I kind of wanna cover up, but I mean, it's not that obvious yet. But I am happy that I upgraded to the newer Dyson with the longer barrels since I started to grow out my hair. Actually ended up selling my old Dyson Air app to Marco's cousin because she has always wanted one, but she has short hair. So it all worked out. I'm getting very close to my Dyson formula. And when I lock it in, I will share the details to you all. Last for beauty is going to be no longer wearing extensions. I stopped doing eyelash extensions and started doing eyelash lifts and those have been so much better like my lashes are finally growing in to like a decent state now and i'm just very happy with where i'm at with those definitely going to continue to not do extensions and just continue to let my lashes grow naturally the eyelash perms definitely help my lashes curl up a bit instead of just shooting straight down which is what they normally do next is going to be jewelry last year i got the juice and clue which i actually really really love and also the tennis bracelet ring concierge actually gifted me the white gold one but i bought the yellow gold version during black friday and i just love the way that this stack looks i never take off the tennis bracelet the juice and clue i take off occasionally but i just really love this stack i wanted to give a quick shout out to ring concierge because this is one of my favorite pieces that I've ever gotten and also their huggies are amazing. I typically never wear anything on my lobe on an everyday basis just because I couldn't find something that works for me but now I love wearing these huggies and they also have the pave ones which are great for special occasion. I'm also still debating on getting a third piercing but I don't know. I have two lobe piercings and a cartilage piercing. One cartilage, fully healed, but we'll never do it again because it took years for it to literally fully heal. My second lobe piercing took a bit of time, so I don't know if I want to go through that again. I feel like I would get a piercing if someone was like considering also getting a piercing. And I'd be like, okay, I'll go with you and then just get it done that way. Now that I'm like finding earrings that I do like to wear, I just want like more piercings for them. Again, we'll see. We'll see what happens this year. All right, we're nearing the end of this. We're on to the last three pieces, my final three. Another purchase from 2022 that was really solid would be these headphones. So this is the AirPods Max and I have loved using these for work, for travel, for commuting. I am either wearing my AirPods Max or the wired earphones. I love these so much, but I do not recommend getting them now. If you are entertaining any Mac products, I highly recommend going to Mac Rumors and seeing if you should buy something or not. They have a little section called buy it now or something like that. And it'll tell you how old a product is and if it's due for an upgrade in terms of the Apple cycle. And so you can see there if a product is worth buying right now, if you should wait or if it's just like in a weird place where like you could buy now, it's not a good or a bad thing either way. It's just that it's not due for an upgrade super soon because you don't wanna buy these and then come March for their spring keynote, they're gonna announce a new set of AirPod Maxes that are going to be much better. I recommend waiting because I feel like these are due for an update. I wanted to buy a 
display for editing and that one is about three years old so I don't think it's worth me buying right now and I'm just gonna wait to see what they announce for this year. So if you have some patience, highly recommend waiting. Obviously these are not the best over ear headphones in the world. For audiophiles, they're not gonna pick this. But if you like the vibe, you like the aesthetic, it sounds great, the noise canceling is great. I love these for travel and just editing. I can't hear Marco when he's calling me. Great purchase from 2022 that I will obviously continue to use. This one you might have seen like on my Instagram and my vlogs, but I've never actually fully announced this or shown this. This is the MacBook Air M2 in Midnight, and this is like my on-the-go kind of computer when I travel, when I'm in the city. This has been so great because I can't bring my MacBook Pro around all the time. It gets so heavy but that is my baby in terms of editing. It is a workhorse. I love using it to edit. I've never had any issues with its like ventilation. It's never hyperventilated on me. Neither has this, but I'm only doing really light editing and emails on this. I really love this purchase. It has been great for just easily throwing into my bags. And I think this actually even fits. Never carry my 16 inch in this one, but it does fit in a 30 size Birkin. That's good to know. Uh, MacBook Air is amazing. This one has the M2 chip. My MacBook Pro I spec'd out with the M1 chip because that's what was available at the time. This one has been really great and it is really nice and compact and lightweight. So very happy with this. I will just say though if you are eyeing the midnight color it is a fingerprint magnet. Like you can see all of my fingerprints on it. And I should have listened to my nephew because he warned me about this when I told him I wanted this color. You can just get a case for it and have that be it. Last solid purchase for 2022 has got to be our Sattva mattress and the adjustable base. We fully have like an elderly person bed because it literally moves up and down, but it's so great sleeping in zero gravity where your head is slightly up and your feet are raised. It's great. It's a game changer. And I just have never wanted to have the back issues that I had in October, November ever again because it was the worst. I couldn't move. And I have had much better sleep since we got the Sattva. When we first bought the house, we got a box mattress from Lull, which was great for a while, but then really after three years, it was just so soft and it wasn't great for us. And I also just saw so many things about fiberglass on TikTok. We didn't have a fiberglass issue. Um, we never opened up the mattress, you're not supposed to, but we knew that it was time to upgrade to a mattress that actually had springs in it, that provided more support. And when I did my research on what was the best mattress for someone with back problems, this is always the number one recommendation and I love it so far. I'm very excited that we upgraded our bed and we have like home updates coming up so very excited and hopefully we'll have more to share on that throughout the year. That is all. Once again thank you so much for all of your love and support and I will see you in the next video. Bye!